Hi, I'm James and welcome to Trading the Market. In today's video, we are looking at scalping under and overs and correct score markets. So let's get cracking. For those of you new to scalping, I would point you in the direction of my earlier video, The Football Scalping Bible. Link is in the description. This covers everything from what is scalping, how to execute it, and the different markets to use it on. In this particular scalp, I am looking at over and under and correct score markets at half time. As a disclaimer, this is a dangerous scalp as one goal will mean a loss of your trade straight away. So ideally, you need to be in and out in a short period of time. The reason for this is as follows. If the half time scoreline is 1-0 when the second half kicks off, we open our position on the 1-0 correct score market by backing the 1-0 market and are unlucky enough to have a goal scored straight away, the 1-0 market will automatically close as this scoreline is no longer possible at full time. So whatever stake you had in the market will immediately be lost. So if the risk is so high, why would you scalp this market I hear you ask? Well, the reason I scalp this market is because it can be very lucrative. It's lucrative because the odds are higher on these markets. This then gives us more profit per tick as the tick value is so much higher. So the risk versus reward is quite even in my opinion. When doing this, it means I can use a higher stake value for a shorter period of time between opening my position and closing it to yield a significant profit. Equally, using a stake in the region of £5 to £20 in keeping with the stakes of the average trader for just a few minutes can also give great profits for a few minutes work. I stumbled upon the odds movement when laying the half time correct score, link for this video is also in the description. When laying the half time correct score and waiting for more favourable odds, I found the odds can be very high on the correct score and unders market at half time and waiting just 5-10 to 10 minutes or even 15 minutes in extreme cases, the odds can literally plummet if there are no goals scored early on in the second half and the match is a quiet beginning. This makes the market very generous when scalping. So what are we trying to do? First of all we need to back the correct scoreline of the match at half time. Once the match kicks off, we have our position open. We then wait for the odds to shorten and then we can close our position for a few ticks less, leaving profit on the correct score selection we have just scalped. Providing the game is quiet, we can then repeat this process over and over until we are happy with our profit margin. So let's take a look at an example. And as usual, let me butcher the names of the teams. As you can see on screen, this is the under over 1.5 market in the match between Ko Kong and Byung Ket. The score is currently 1-0. I am looking at the under 1.5 market as this market moves in symmetry with the 1-0 correct score market. The odds are almost the same and will shorten at the same rate as the 1-0 correct score market. And one goal scored will close the market and hand us a loss. In most cases I will scalp the under market as this has more liquidity than the correct score markets. This is just what we need when scalping to get in and out of our position as quickly as possible to minimise the risks involved. This is only an example of the odds movement, I would not scalp this match due to liquidity being so low. As you can see, there is just over £900 matched on the under over market and only £39 matched in the correct score market. At kickoff, the odds sit at decimal 8.0 to back and decimal 10.0 to lay. The fact liquidity is so low means the back and lay prices are far too far apart to scalp this market with any confidence and this is why I am showing this example of a match and market not to scalp. Even with so little money in the selection, let's see what happens as time decays. The longer there is no goal at the kickoff of the second half, the quicker these odds will start to fall. So let me speed this up by 10 minutes and we shall see where the odds sit around the 55th minute. As you can see, we've had no goals scored and after only 10 minutes the odds have fallen to decimal 5.7 and the lay price is still too far apart from the back price. In a higher profile match, with much more liquidity, the back and lay prices will be closer together and provide us with a platform to scalp with more confidence as our orders will get matched so much quicker. The fact these odds have dropped from decimal 8.0 to decimal 5.7 in just 10 minutes means in a liquid market we could scalp this selection with relative ease. The fact we are trading in a higher tick value makes this highly lucrative for such a short amount of time in a trade, albeit it's a very risky trade to make as we can lose our entered stake at any time. There are ways to negate this risk by either backing and then laying for a few ticks lower here and there and repeating this and then trading out 
or backing the selection and legging out by setting a few lay bets waiting to be matched a few ticks lower each time. Then with each lay bet matched, you reduce your liability each time. This same method is done when trading under 2.5 goals at the beginning of a match by backing the under 2.5 goal selection and then legging out over a 5-10 to 10 minute period. The differences are, when trading under 2.5 goals, one goal won't hand you an L and lose your full stake, which is a positive, but also the tick value is not as high so you are not making as much profit as you would when trading the correct score market or the under over market in the same way. I do love this strategy and yes I have lost on trades when doing this but overall this can be a great way to make fast money. So let's move on to the next example. Here we are looking at FC Ullumberta versus Khan Coons Urchim. I think I got that right. The score is 2-1. First, let's take a look at the correct score market to view the odds. The odds are decimal 4.9 to back and 5.5 to lay. Now, liquidity is always something we should look at when trading this strategy. As you can see on this correct score market, there is £502 matched on this selection. This isn't a massive amount at all, and on higher profile matches there will be tens of thousands matched, making it easier when getting in and out of your position. Less liquidity means the odds may move slower and fluctuate as there are not many people putting orders into this selection, increasing the time and risk spent in the market. So again, how can we increase the liquidity and in doing so, minimise the risk? With a 2-1 scoreline, let's head over to the under over 3.5 goals and focus more specifically on the under 3.5 market. As you can see, the odds almost mirror the 2-1 correct score market with a back price of 5.1 and a lay price of 5.3 and look at the liquidity. There is just over £10,700 already matched. There is far more money being traded and matched on this market even with such a low profile game, meaning we could get in and out of our position and scalp this market. Again, this market will move in exactly the same way as the 2-1 correct score selection, as they mirror each other, and we also have the same risk in this market as we would have in the correct score market, as one goal will close at under 3.5 goals market in the same way it will close the 2-1 correct score market and hand us a loss. So in effect, we are scalping the same scalp but we can choose either market, one with more liquidity than the other. More liquidity means a higher chance of getting our orders matched and the back and lay prices are closer together which is just what we need. With less liquidity, the back and lay odds will be further apart and will move slower than a market flowing with liquidity. So let's see what happens when we scalp this market for just a few ticks. I'm going to back under 3.5 goals with a stake of £5 at decimal 5.1 and then put a lay order at £5 a few ticks lower at decimal 4.6. As you can see after just 4 minutes the odds have dropped, my lay bet has been matched and I am left with £2.50 of green on the under 3.5 selection and a trade out profit of around 53 pence. Yes, this isn't much and I am showing stakes the average trader would use. This is a healthy profit. This is 10% profit from just one scalp in under 4 minutes. Using a £50 stake would have given us a £5 profit, and using a £200 stake would have given us a £20 profit. Where else could you make 10% on your investment in just 4 minutes? I wouldn't recommend staying in these scalps for long, as one goal brings us a loss, but a scalp of a few ticks here and there in a higher tick value is a great way to make fast greens and a high return of income. Once we have finished scalping or even legging out, we would then be left with a sum of money left on the correct score or under market, depending on which one we used. This could then be left as a free bet, and the longer no goal has been scored, the more the odds will decrease and in turn increase your trade out profit along the way. This strategy, as I said earlier, is a great strategy, as it can be used on many football matches across an entire day. Trading 10 matches in an afternoon for just a few minutes of the second half could easily give us a 50 pence to £1 profit within minutes depending on your stake. Imagine trading each game for a couple of minutes, taking the profit and moving on. This can easily mount up into a tidy sum over the course of a day for just a few minutes of your time. The main thing I would stress when doing this is to always have your exit point firmly in sight. Greed is most definitely your enemy in this trade. The longer you are in the market, the more you increase your risk of a loss as a goal can come at any time and eat your stake, as we all know. As always, discipline is key. Back the selection, have your exit point set out in your mind and then stick to it. Take the small wins. Get in, get out and build your bank. 
Green is green whether it's 50 pence, 2 pounds, 10 pounds or 100 pounds. The best trades are the trades when we don't want something to happen. All we need is time to decay to bring us the green. It's the same with one of my other strategies, laying over 3.5 goals. Link for the video is in the description. This trade also relies on nothing happening and after just a few minutes you are trading out for a profit. So why not have a look at some matches this week? Look at the half time odds on either market, paper trade them and then see how much they decrease after 5 minutes of the half. I am not saying go running blindly and trade every game with this, especially on leagues where goals are flying in, for example the Scandinavian and Dutch leagues, to name a few. There have been many times I am watching a football match, the second half starts quietly and I see an opportunity to get involved for a few ticks. It can be as simple as that in essence. So finally, I can't end a video without mentioning our amazing TTM Discord server. If you're not already a part of our 1000 plus members, you are definitely missing out on a great free tool to aid you in your trading journey. The link to join the server is in the video description. So why not join many great minds who are all at different stages of their trading careers and enhance your own with the help of an exciting and vibrant community. It really is tremendous. Thank you once again for taking the time to watch this video and listen to an old man from Lancashire. If you're not already subscribed to TTM then I ask why the hell not. <laughs> Switch on notifications so you never miss a beat with the fastest growing community where everything we do is and always will be completely free. Also why not let us know in the comments section how you get on using this scalping technique. I've been James, this is Scalping the Correct Score and Unders Markets and we are all trading the market. Until next time. Happy trading.